Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 6 of Dark Souls Remastered on the Xbox One X. We're going to crash straight in and head toward the Capra Demon. And yeah, stupidly, I forgot about the shortcut actually to get down to the Capra Demon. So we're going to go and unlock that first. Really? Can't believe we got an arrow off there. <laughs> Right, let's see if we can dodge him. Enemies by far follow you further than they ever did before. It's definitely been something they've tweaked in this game. For my liking. Woo -hoo -hoo. Double whammy. Well, <clears throat> I've not had any flagons tonight because it's a school night, so I know exactly what's up that ladder there. <laughs> Unlike the other part five, where it was like, oh, what's up this ladder? Two minutes later, oh, what's up this ladder? For God's sake. All right, let's get the shortcut sorted out and then we won't have to do this again. Be gone, foul beast! I'll take that. Yeah, I wondered where the other one we got to. Let's dance. Put on your red shoes and dance the blues. Come on, you. I'm not going to hit you first because you do your deep throat maneuver. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know what I meant. Lunging prick attack and deep throat maneuvers. <laughs> it's all coming out now. Try and pick him off a little bit at a time here. Come on, doggy. Let's have you. Easy there, fella. That'll do. Well, it should be one more dog down here with a... My memory is serving me correctly. What? I must have got that, surely. <laughs> You're right there. Pretty sure we got all the items in this section. Okay, so the Capra Demon is through there. However, we bob ourselves down here. There's a sneaky little hobbits is around the corner here, look. Nobody likes a sneaky fecker. Oh, hello. He did. Right. That's them taken care of. Uh, I think there might be an item at the end here. Now, this is where I want to go next. But you get that key from the Capra Demon, so we need to beat that first. 
I did the Capra Demon off camera and it took me loads of attempts to try and get a, a decent run at it. And it's not actually that hard, it's the bloody wolves. But once you get rid of the wolves, or the dogs or whatever the bloody hell they are, um, the demon itself isn't that bad. You can kind of run around him or her. So here's the sewer. It's got a locked gate at the other side of it. You still have your senses about you. I kind of do. Why won't you buy some of my moss? I might do as it happens. So Come in handy later. <laughs> For Blight Town. <laughs> Purple moss clumps. There they go. Take a couple of them while we're here. So, as it happens, we'll probably as well just see in this back down to Firelink Shrine and then come back up again. Because if we die in the fight, it means we've got the shortcut to go for rather than the... There we go. And that was locked from the other side. Big rat at the end. Flaming back jabbers, thank you. That's actually a rear lunging prick attack, that is. Okay, so... We'll go and sit at the fire and work our way back up. And then we can, uh, well, as it happens, the run backs from this point I'll edit out if we have to do the fight a number of times. Uh, we could unhollow ourselves as it happens. You're supposed to be able to take somebody into that fight with you, but uh, I'm pretty sure I was unhollowed the first time I tried it and I couldn't see the marks on the floor to call the Knight Solaire. And in my other playthrough, I've not been able to call Knight Solaire for anything either. Well, I've only, I've only done as, as far as the same thing, to be fair, but... Uh... I also discovered off-air that rats are an excellent place to get humanity. Drop them for bloody fun. Don't know if that's new or whether it was always the case, but I can certainly build a fair few up. I ended up with about 15 of the bloody things. Not including my twin ones. Just going to check what we've got in the way of... Yeah, I mean, I've only got two humanities and two twin humanities there. But in my other playthrough, I've got about bloody 15 of these. Um, yeah, I think we'll hang on to all of that. Soul-wise for now. Right, let's get on with it. Time for this big fella to go down. any point taking the guy down there on. That'll do. A 
and now it's just a big sprint back to the bit at the bottom. So it is, uh, I think, a, a little bit quicker because I'm not really a massive fan of running past everything because you end up getting bitch slapped. So, so the last time you guys will have to see this bit. I will edit out any return trips I have to do for this fight. <laughs> Not sure how that arrow went in that direction, but anyway. The only other things to worry about are the dogs up at the top which are fairly easily taken care of if... Well, I say that now. <laughs> kind of pin them in a little bit. Alright, here we go. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Let's see how many tries it takes me this time around. If I get a hit in, it'll be decent work. It's unbelievable, it's the fucking wolf every time. Fuck off. Yeah. Can't be a fucking dog left, I killed it. Fucker. Come on, fucker. Fuck! Fucking fucker. One fucking hit, come on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. There he goes. Humanity and a homeward boner, thank you. I mean, once the wolves are gone, it's not that bad. It's the fucking wolves that do your head in.
All right, people, all right. Now we're shaking. Oh, give over. So it took health off me. <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure that's it in here. I don't think there's anything else to pick up. Onward. Right, well, we can go uh, straight down to the other part we need to go to now, into the depths. Still got seven Estus flasks, so there's no reason to be going back to a bonfire. Uh, well, having said that, we have got a couple of upgrades, to be fair. Yeah, let's... Uh... Mind you, I'm saying that, there's... Uh... Is there anything we need from the <clears throat> the guy here at the shop? I don't know if there is. Ah, sorry. We'll do a couple of level ups. Hopefully there will be enough for two there. And then we'll belt back again. Only take us two minutes. Not really. Really? Bloody bomb chuckers. Alright, Capra Demon dealt with, I like it. Level ye up. Yeah, I've got two in there. That'll do nicely. So, I think we'll get the endurance up. And the health up. Dexterity is actually one lower than my other playthrough as well, weirdly enough. Yeah, I think I brought, bought some flaming arrows off the other thing last time, but not much use, really. If I f we'll see how we got on without needing the... Well, we can get the magic sky in the next bit. <clears throat> Large soul of the lost and uh, we've got two of them. Never remember how much is in the damn things, though, unfortunately. Right. Uh, do we bother taking our humanity off or not? I think not. Because we can do it once we've got a few more humanities. And I know for a fact there's a bonfire down there and them their depths. I don't think we need to be human to do the rest of uh, that shenanigans for now. Every time. Nearly suffer the consequences of that bloody menu. Really? Oh, shit for brains, Savia.
I can't think of anything else this person might have that I'd want, but we'll just double check. Yeah, just the poison. Purple moss clumps of poison, but that's not really this area. Uh, well, it is and it isn't. There is poison build-up, but I'm not overly worried about it. There are other areas where it's worse. So, we'll use that up. That'll do us for later on. I think it was Blight Town that had a particularly annoying poison thing going on. The key to the depths has been used. Right, there's a lot going on down here. Not too long before we can get our magic sky. Double whammy! Start as you mean to go on, people. Shiny. I didn't get this on my off-camera playthrough. I didn't get uh, this helmet for whatever reason. Calm down. I knew there was one there. Kadiria, you little fecker. Oh, I don't want to trigger that guy too early. Ooh, that was a bit freestyle, wasn't it? Didn't even lock on. Let's get our little arena going here. And there's also another one of his feck buddies up here behind that. Up there. You can see his eyes glowing in the dark through his saccard. Easy. Right, let's see if we can get this little guy to if we I think you can trigger him from over here. <laughs> That's not a bit of evil within, I don't know what is. Here he comes. Calm down you. Ooh, that'll do half of it. Oh, oh you fucker. I thought he was down there. That'll do it. What? How is there no drop out of him? What the fuck is that all about? Same dogs, but more health. Drop that 
Chance and I brute you. Yeah. Oh, hello. Large ember. I think that allows us to do more with our weapons, doesn't it? Is that not what the blacksmith needed to do some fancy shiz with? Right, well, as it happens, I don't want to go down there yet. Um, because... If we go up and round the other way... I don't think there's any reason to actually go into that water down there. I also am not sure what triggers the guy from up here either to jump down. I don't really want to fight him down there. Not quite what I was going for, but anyway, never mind. Here he comes. Yeah, I don't like the look of it round here. Where the hell has he gone? There he be. This could end badly. I'll do. Thank you. Oh, he dropped something this time. Oh, sack head. Oh, never mind. But his sack helmet, that's all I want, isn't it? Ooh, hello. Right, so our magic's guy in here. Over at the back there in a barrel. You must help me. Barrels much? Okay, there you are. You must help me. Really? She'll have me for lunch. Must a strong word. Oh, please. Oh, all right then. Seeing as you are so nicely. Oh, well, she'll have me, but you're my only. Oh, please. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Thank you. You're welcome. Been in a supper without you. Been eaten alive. I shudder to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius. For the great swamp, I will not forget my debt to you. And I think that's it. I think you have to go back to the. I'm fine, thanks to you. The Firelink Shrine and speak to him, I think, to get the magics. Oh, hello there. I'm yeah. fine, thanks to you. Well, don't just stand there, fella. You'll get captured again. Well, that's not bad, is it? Just cleared out the whole area there, apart from the watery bit. But I'm pretty sure there's sod all in that watery bit, other than enemies that just annoy the shit out of you. Yeah, I'm almost positive there's nothing in there of any worth. So I'm going to leave it. Because you can't walk around. You can only walk in the water. You can't move quickly and blah, blah, blah. Becomes all very frustrating, people. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Gets me every feckin' time, that. Don't kill me, fuck's sake. Mm -hmm. 
fucking thing comes on land as well. Fucking hellfire. Thank you! Get my shiny goodness now. Fucking hell, where did he come from? Sneaky little fecker. He must have come from up there. No one likes a sneaky little fecker. Well, he might have come from an ear right now. <clears throat> ah, now well then. Wallow. <laughs> There's one. Takes quite a lot of damage off them, this uh, big move on the Claymore. If you get a few of them in a line as well, you can get quite good damage on all of them. Nearly a double whammy. Fuck, don't mean to do that. Stop it. Ooh, three in a line. Come on. Pretty sure we got them all, didn't we? Got one landing on my head. On the head. Woohoo! Bonfire time, people! Oh, hello. He's a big fella. <laughs> <laughs> Size of that fecking thing there, look. Right, it's like they'll get the campfire going, so we don't have to run all the way back if we die. Might want to Uber it up as well. Now we can, if it, if things go, I've, I've only done a bit of this section on my my off-camera playthroughs as far as I've got, but there was a lot of rats dropping a lot of humanities, so with that in mind, I think we're probably going to be okay to uber up this fire. Because you can only uber up the fire if you've got your humanity restored, which is a bit of annoyance. It's a bit annoying, but I get why it's there. This 
spire is clean. Right. Well, I think that is probably a perfect place to wrap up that part. I do like to keep these parts around the 40 minute marker. And because I did a few run backs to the Capra Demon, I'm not overly sure. I'm on 45 minutes at the minute. By the time I edit it down, it might be about 35 minutes. But uh, what I'll do is I will continue to record immediately after I have uh, stopped this part 6 and start recording part 7. So it'll be up pretty swiftly afterwards. Probably tomorrow night as opposed to tonight. So it has been an honour and a privilege finishing off the Capra Demon and getting ourselves down here. And we shall do the rest of the depths and see what demons await us down here. If I remember rightly, it's the uh, Tooth Vagina Demon, isn't it? <laughs> For want of a better uh, description of the damn thing. Uh, but anyway, yes, it has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again. And I shall see you in part seven, folks. Take it easy. Bye.